And, you know, I uh, used to, you know, the yogis used to take special uh, preparation of herbs. And I use it during the time of uh, uh, Mahalaya. <clears throat> Very, very elaborate one because you can get, you can prepare the body to receive the spirits. And I go and step further because I just want to. This is a time, it's a very auspicious time for gods to descend. Not only, you don't think that the, only the ancestors are coming down. So I just used to uh, call on gods to get into my body. So I used uh, uh, a preparation which I put it together just to get the gods to into my body. And, uh, and this is it. And I'm going to drink it. This is uh, it's called Amrita Karuna. Amrita means the elixir. Karuna means the, uh, the compassion of God. Giving us uh, the elixir. It is uh, the, the goddess Lakshmi and Shiva and uh, Karpaswami and mother goddess. So um, it's not available here, but I will soon make it available to you guys. And so I will drink this now for the health of the world. All that you need is a very small amount. That's not. It'll be a little bitter. That's, that's okay. Now, the most important thing for anyone in this lifetime is to relieve the suffering of the other person. Of course, yourself too. And if you do something to relieve the suffering of other people, even you don't have to give them money or food or any clothes or anything. You can talk to them. Comfort them. Take them, take them to the temple or the church or synagogue or wherever. If we can financially help them, that's great. But if you can't, don't worry about it. But at least do whatever you can do. Then you will get the blessings of gods and goddesses. And also your ancestors. It will also help your ancestors to move forward. Because whatever happens to you happens to your ancestors' soul, and whatever happens to your ancestors' soul happens to you. That's the bottom line. And uh, you will feel elevated yourself. There will be so much joy that will come out of, uh, come out of uh, any act of compassion that will not only help you, but also your family and your, and your offsprings as well. That's why feeding is very, very important. Feeding the poor people. And this is the time 
that you should donate money for various feeding activities, especially people who are very, very hungry. Once I wanted to help someone who wasn't able to get a job. I was in New York at the time. I said, we'll do something. This I have done also in San Francisco as well. This was say in um, New York. I took this person, went to Burger King, bought a lot of burgers. Uh, and then went uh, looking for the beggars. I don't want to use the word beggars. Uh, people were hungry and homeless. And then we distributed. That person and I went and distributed. And they were so hungry. And some people asked, can I have one more burger? I don't want the French fries. <laughs> he said, that's not good for health. Oh, that's good. Um, so another person said, can I have that French fry he doesn't want? Yeah, of course. You will feel. that you are in a different uh, state of mind right after doing that. God will shower infinite blessings on you when you do that. Feeding people. So in fact, today is the best day to do it because today is the Saturday and also the 13th moon, I believe. So I'm right after this, I'm going to go and feed people. So that is an important uh, charity act you can do throughout these four, 15 days or 14 days of special ancestor uh, program feeding them. It's not that uh, you have to feed only once a year. You should do it at least every Amavashere, which is the, uh, the dark moon day, new moon day. And uh, I advise people do it every day. And then uh, Keep your, you know, uh, the the rice and the sesame seed handy and then operate anywhere, anywhere. Mm.